Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Octopath Traveler 2. Joining me, Star Princess HLC. Oh, we weren't attached to the last ship. Yeah. And JK Lantern. I feel like I need to go to the library now, though. Y you have fun with that. We're, we're going <laughs> over here to Psy. Because, as stated earlier, it is time for the Chapter 4s. So let's see... What do we want to make Agni at the moment? For a lot of time we kept her on thief and then merchant. That is a cute hat. It is. Yeah. It is not a rice chicken hat, but it will do. Yeah. A rice chicken chicken no rice. Looks like for her it would have been a cow's head. Oh no, she has the forbidden dagger. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a. I'm going to have to change that out. I'm I'm out of blessings in disguise. Okay, never mind. I was about to say I shouldn't be. Where'd the other one go? I thought I took care. I thought I took all those off. I bet the owl took it. Yeah, no offense, Partizia, we're gonna need this. Yep. And just in case. The only one I don't want to completely unequip is, uh... Is Hikari. Yeah, Because I hate hunting thing... down all of his... All of his special weapons. Yeah. Oh, you still got a negative weapon on you. I mean, you have a blessing in disguise now, so... Yeah. For some reason, I misread that as alluring bacon. bacon. Well, it does attract monsters. Although, in that case, it would probably attract Ochet, too. Yeah. performed camel damn you camel Giselle was here not long ago so perhaps someone knows something he's not as drooly as the one we saw in claws and paws that was a very drooly camel he was excuse me is something the matter miss would you happen to know of a dancer who was here about 20 years ago? See, you're old, so I'm asking you. Oh What's my. dancing? 20 years is quite a long time. You don't sound old. This place has changed so much since then. Perhaps you should check the old quarters in the east. I will. Thank you. Looks just like the moon 
one step. Could this statue be... Out of my way, old lady. I'm 18! I was gonna say... I'm the youngest party oh. member! <laughs> Take this, and that, and one of these. <laughs> that ought to do it. Lila, what are you doing? We've had just about enough of your mischief. And to make matters worse, you've defiled Mother's statue. I think she looks better this way. That statue is a symbol of our hope. Hope? Oh, change! That matters in this town. We have no money, no good food, nothing. No pants. Oh, she is not wearing pants. That we know of. She may be wearing shorts under there. <laughs> Those still aren't pants. There's no hope for us here. They're pants without legs. You brat. I don't know. Pants are kind of defined by having legs, though. This gloom doesn't suit a desert town at all. We have someone named Primrose you need to talk to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I know a way to brighten up the place. What are you doing? Watch me shine! I don't know what that was, but I think you'd best be on your way. <laughs> Rolled a one, did you? And clean up that statue, Lila. What? What was that just now? You were spinning around so much, it made me dizzy. It's it called was, culture, you heathen. Was it your first time seeing one? Welcome to Fulvus. Uh, dance? Lila! Darn! Gramps found me! Girl sure can run. She'll come home when she's hungry. More importantly, Platt, Platt's wife. <laughs> She'll come home when she's hungry. So you're calling her a cat? Yes. To be fair, it does sound like a cat name. That was a beautiful dance, young lady. Can I help you, cat? Yeah, Speaking we of cats. He heard us talking about him. Apparently. <laughs> Th thank you. It seems the other townsfolk didn't quite agree, though. Nonsense. You were a sight to behold. You must be tired from your journey. You're free to rest your feet at our house, Miss, uh... Please, call me Agnia. But are you sure? We certainly are, Agnia. In fact, we insist. After all, something about you feels... familiar.
Well, now. So yeah, this elderly couple basically has the war orphanage. Hmm. It's Foster's home for imaginary friends. Uh, it's not, that's not quite right. <laughs> Hannigan. Well, now. <laughs> that was closer to a previous chapter. Mm. We love you, Miss Hannigan. <laughs> well, now. A carpenter, huh? Winston? <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'll take that. He's trying to provide for his wife, that's why we will steal his money. Yep. I can't believe we we stole from the hero of the Oberdin. What's this? Just kind of a mite creepy. Hi, Emily Dickinson. I prefer to be Mary Shelley. She was badass. Yeah. What's this? Hmm. What's th And we stole her candy. That's yep. Saving hey, the world here, prerogative. Hey, Porticio. Here's an handkerchief you wanted. It's probably used. It was I don't know if that one's, girl. I don't know if that one's silk, though. I think it's probably made of sandpaper. So then it can take care of some spackling spots. Mm -hmm. What's th Plenty of hidden items in these. Hmm. I'll take that. What's this? <laughs> well, we found a love triangle. Little bit, yeah. Hmm. But is it as memorable as Jean Grey and Scott and Wolverine? What's this? Hopefully, it's better written. Mm. Yeah. I'll take that. I wonder where that one is. Probably in here. Grandma! Grandpa! Welcome home! Thank you! Were you good boys and girls while we were out? You made a tax fraud! <laughs> Who are all these children? They're young ones from all over town. We watch over them when their parents can't. There aren't many jobs to be had here, so their parents leave in search of work. Is she a new friend? Oh, 
That's amazing! Forget, forget, forget Beam! <laughs> She's a traveling dancer. A what? You're all too young to know, but another dancer visited this very town 20 years ago. Twenty years ago, go, go. Five years ago. She was a kind hearted woman named Kwani. Named Guano? That was my mother. Oh, it's no wonder you felt familiar. You look just like her. It makes me happy to hear that you remember her. As if we could forget. Why are you Irish? I have to type something in here. <laughs> Kwani was only passing through, yet gave from her own pockets to help us. She took care of us like she was our own mother. The townsfolk built a statue of her so that they'd never forget the hope she gave us. So that statue is of my mother. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Didn't the... Didn't the girl who went up and defaced the statue call that mother? Uh, they called it Mother Statue, so the statue that these people make. <laughs> she met a little orphan girl while she was here. And she taught her how to dance. That little girl never stopped dancing, and now she's famous for it. A famous dancer? Pardon me. Oh, yes, this character. I thought I told you to leave. Huh. Should I know this bodyguard? Because I have a feeling I do. You should probably. Yeah, I think I think we you met her earlier, uh, like Very two chapters ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. You again? No matter how many times you come around, our answer won't change. This town is all we have left. And we don't want your Girl Scout cookies. This is our home. I beg you to reconsider. <laughs> I've seen her before. We paid a lot of money for this land. Which makes you no more than trespassers. So are they actually going where I think they're going with this? In the fact that a certain other dancer was that orphan girl? Oh, oh, oh. It's clearly, um, uh, um, the hell was her name back from Temenos' chapter? Mint. No, 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 the, the dancer that we prevented from getting murdered. The, the, uh, the, the fish fucker. I don't really remember her I name. I don't remember her name. I think it's Hermes, but I can't sort of do it. It might have been Hermes, you know. 
My liege was gracious enough to give you time to leave. Liege. Odd but choice no of words. Longer. I will force Definitely you out Definitely an odd choice for someone you're a bodyguard to. Stop! In the name of spam? I won't let you lay a finger on my parents. Lila. Oh, she does. Get care. lost, you big oaf. No, Don't you have someone else pie. to bully? I hear and you're a racist you now, father. Keep like this. <laughs> <laughs> let the others know there will be no mercy next time. You've been warned. Now, Mercy's helping take care of another orphanage. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lila. Lila. Didn't I tell you already? There's no hope for us here. Lila! Did she run away again? At a time like this? You spoil her too much, Platt. Uh, you can tell by like my Lila was an awesome. She was abandoned when she was little, so we took her in and raised her as our Man, own. it was hilarious your mom asking your dad if he was going to get a kill. He's like, no, that's the wrong country. But her heart's been closed off ever since, and all she ever does is make mischief around town. <laughs> oh, God, whenever my parents are posting the Scottish pride stuff, your dad is just like... We'll she forgive them says this that time. There's no hope here. I wish we knew how to make her happy. Did you try making her a chocolate pie? Chocolate usually makes people happy. Uh, it's funny. Something. Year, years ago, I was talking Lila. to Courage about our ancestry. And Courage very much identifies with the Scottish part of our ancestry. He's a proud Scotsman! But he, he looks at me and he's like, You're the German part of the family. In fact, I'm pretty sure you're actually Prussian. I'm like, oh, thanks for that. More beer for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he's got the nice time for it now. Yep. <laughs> but... With uh, that out of the way, I think this marks a good stopping spot. When we return, we will be hunting down the runaway child. Hopefully, hopefully she won't have gotten in too much trouble. He pooped in the bed. So, wait, is she Father O'Hagan now? Hmm. 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 I mean, not drunk, but definitely ready to kick someone's ass. Yeah. Maybe she's. Maybe her father was Father O'Hagan. I'll admit to nothing. <laughs> uh, we will hunt her down next time. So until then, <laughs> take care, everyone. Later.